In August of 2005, Hurricane Katrina hit the U.S. Gulf Coast. One of the deadliest hurricanes to ever hit the United States, Katrina was responsible for taking nearly 2,000 lives, causing $81 billion in damages, and over a quarter million homes were lost. Twelve months after Hurricane Katrina hit, I volunteered to go with my church on a relief mission. This was my first mission trip. Our destination? Pasigula, Mississippi. Upon arrival, I was surrounded by mostly miserable, bratty teenagers who were there because their parents forced them to be. It was hot, humid, and after a long ride, everyone was hungry. After getting settled in, we went out to our first assignment. My group would be replacing a floor for an older lady, Debbie, the wife of the local fire department's fire chief. Debbie was very welcoming when we arrived. She treated us like we'd known her for years. There were no strangers. After getting started, she went out to the store to get us drinks and snacks. She helped us with all the repairs. Through the entire process, Debbie was always right there for support. At the end of our first day, Debbie offered to show us more of her neighborhood. She showed us other severely damaged houses. We toured the trailer that FEMA had provided her and her family during the reconstruction period. She shared all of her experiences of the hurricane with us. She was sincerely an extraordinary woman. By the end of our time in Pasigula and with Debbie, there were no grumpy teenagers. Everyone could unanimously agree that the experience had been life-changing. Seeing the disaster firsthand, hearing testimonies from actual witnesses, and being part of a team that made a difference became the most inspiring week of my life.